me, Darlene. I'm whispering. I don't want to bring attention to the fact that I'm wearing my mask as a chin cover-up. I'm in the airport in Manchester, and I'm waiting for my flight. Oh, God. I probably have food all over me. I just ate hamburger patties, which made it through the, um, check out. No, it's not called the check out. What is it called, you know, when they check your bags? And, uh, the guy opens it, and he has to take the little bag out of the big bag and he's holding my hamburger patties in his hand in a baggie and he goes frozen hamburger patties and they're not frozen but I am like yes that's my lunch all five I only ate two so far this airport is full of birds there's birds in here just flying around and one was eyeing the pork rind that I dropped on the um, floor <laughs> All right, I don't know if I'll do much recording on this trip. I feel like you're so incredibly close to me, or I'm close to you. Either way, probably not a good thing, but th this is a good look. I like that. And, um, you know, it's so funny that people are all wearing masks, but we're allowed to eat, you know, and it's like I'm eating with my hamburger patty, like, right to my mouth and not moving it because I want it to be obvious that I'm eating and chewing. And then I put my hamburger patty down and I was immediately like this. Well, better than that. Like this. And, um, you know, it's just silly. Anyway, uh, my arm hurts now. Oh, I had a stressful ride up here. And then I discovered that all the uh, long-term parking lots, except for the parking garage, which is $14 a day as opposed to $10 a day, and which you have to walk to your... I can't think of anything to the doors to where your flights are. Oh my God. Uh, as opposed to having a shuttle pick you up and dropping you off right in front of where Southwest is. So I went started with lot C. It says full. Proceed to D. I go to D. It's full. Proceed to garage. I was like, why didn't they fucking say that in the beginning? And, ooh, this is my flight. Hang on, I gotta hear. There's not that many people. I'm hoping that we all have to have a seat between us. That would be heavenly, but I'm not sure. Oh my God, I'm so hot. I'm gonna die wearing this on the plane. I should just eat the whole time. <laughs> One tiny bite of burger at a time. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. And what else? Um, oh my God, I'm, I mean, I'm. My whole upper lip is already drenched just from my nose running. No, from the, just being hot. <sighs> Quite the girl, huh? Those birds look like they're trying to get in from outside. They like it in here. Why does every part of me hurt right now? Anyway, so... I had to do quite a bit of walking before I even got to security and checking my bag. And then, and then they had to... Um, check my hamburger patties and it always worries me and it's like I know it's gonna pass it's food you know but it, I still feel a little bit stupid sometimes I had to quickly stop my camera because I was being watched and I haven't been to this airport in a little over a year and I was like just daydreaming and thinking oh my god did I pass the exit oh, ow 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 Oh my God, that arm hurt. <laughs> I'm sore just from pulling heavy luggage. So I'm going to Florida and then I'm stopping there but not changing planes. And then I go to Atlanta and I have to change planes and I only have a half an hour. And that means everybody's already boarding because people board a half hour early. So I'll be like the last one on the plane. And I think it's Georgia that I hate the airport. You can go from one whole terminal to another. So, he had a lot to say. Things are pretty much back to. Why? Why do people want to come and sit close? Please. I don't understand that. Go away. 
<laughs> There's a lot of space in this airport. Go sit near the birds. Anyway, um, oh yeah, the plane is not full, but they are allowing people in the middle seat. I was hoping that was mandatory. Empty seat between everybody. You know, I would rather uh, have space than have to... My God, somebody just said, ma'am, and I thought it was for me. My heart just fucking died. All right, yeah, I'd rather have distance than a mask. Oh, I hope nobody sits next to me or that nobody wants to talk to me. <laughs> I don't like chatty people. I don't even like adults when they're chatting with each other if they're like behind me or whatever. I can take a screaming kid because it's a screaming kid. They don't know better. But adults, be quiet. Nobody wants to hear you. <laughs> um, is it still funny if you can't see me laughing? <laughs> All right, I don't know, I don't know. I brought stuff to do and I was so tired when I finally got to my gate. Just the stress, I, I didn't feel like crocheting. I haven't looked at my iPad. I just sat there and ate a hamburger patty and then another one. <laughs> and then I got pork rind crumbs all over me and left some for the birds. It is not a sunny day that is good, good for my brain, but it was a very bright, gray day. I'm not liking even the fact that it was bright. <laughs> <So> <laughs> but I'm here and I just hope that all goes good. I was able to talk to my mother this morning. Um, I won't call her today because she's being transported. We're assuming that she had to have a COVID, a negative COVID test. And uh, it's been negative. They tested her several times while she's there. And so uh, she should be good to go. She said they did get her dressed. They said she couldn't go in her um, Johnny. She has nighties, but she liked wearing the Johnny. She says it's just easier. But they said, no, we're gonna, gonna get you dressed in your nightie and an ambulance is gonna transport her. So anyway, I guess my arm hurts enough and um, I'll just talk to you whenever. You guys. I'm talking this close because I'm whispering. I don't even know if you can hear me. I had a lousy first leg. It was turbulent, so rough that I was afraid that I was gonna like grab the guy's arm next to me a couple of times because it was just so, you know, scary. But we were all right. It put a damper on the flight because I can have motion sickness especially if I'm doing something while bouncing around and I was trying to play games on my iPad and I just couldn't do that. Alright, so we are, we're in Florida and I don't have to change planes. So I moved way up to the front of the plane. I'm in the second row because I have to get off in Georgia and switch planes. I think I told you that, but I don't know what's going to make the cut in uh, this uh, video, if any of it is. So I wanna be out of here as quick as possible. So I'm on the aisle and I'm in the second row. I was gonna take the first row, but then I can't put my bag under my seat. So I took the second row and um, I can see where my gate is on my iPad. Southwest um, has internet for their stuff, so. I'll know where I'm going. I just hope I'm close. All right, that's it for now. Hi everyone. I am jumping in with an ending to this video because I didn't get to record any more after what you just saw because things just got more stressful and I just wasn't in the mood. Plus I had people sitting right next to me. On my first leg, I was I had a seat between us, but I still didn't record. It was so turbulent, I just couldn't. And then when I w just got done talking to you, what you just saw, I was still in Florida waiting for that plane to fill up and take off again. I didn't have to change planes. But the pilot said that there were storms in Atlanta 
which was where I, my connecting flight was. And I only had a half hour from the time I land there to the time that the other plane takes off. So he said, we were going to be delayed by 45 minutes. And I thought, there goes my fucking connection. But then they said, you know, since there's storms, those flights are probably going to also be delayed. So I had a little bit of hope that I would make my flight, uh, my connection. I was just back and forth on the phone with Derek, updating him as I got updates. I think we only ended up waiting a half an hour and not 45 minutes, and we ended up landing in Atlanta, like just as my flight was supposed to leave. But they did wait. I mean, it was, we were just, you know, there at, I think it was leaving at 7 p.m., and we were there at 7 p.m. And thankfully, the gate was just across the hall and then I, so I got in the plane and sat down and then um, they were also waiting for others and because you know everything coming in was delayed and so we waited a little bit more and the good news was that they were going to uh, make sure our luggage got on the plane so I was glad about that I wasn't as concerned about that I just wanted to not be spending the night on the floor in Atlanta <laughs> because it would have been more stressful for me to get a room take a shuttle all that shit no I had a pillow with me because I have learned travel with a pillow in case you have to sleep on the floor and I even had a change of clothes and my pills you know I keep those things on the plane with me uh, my pills it's just my ibuprofen for my knee and my one blood pressure med that I take so um I was like, I'll sleep on the floor, I don't care. But I knew there was no more flights that night because people were checking on the plane and they was like, there's nothing else. Please make them hold that flight. And uh, so I made it, but we were delayed because now in order to leave Florida and get to Georgia, the storms had moved. So they wanted to go around the storm. So we went south and then back up. And, uh, but... I made it later than expected, but Derek and Skylar were there to pick me up when I needed them. And it was very cool seeing Skylar. I will uh, not say too much. I'm just going to let you know her talk on a video if she wants. I don't know if she wants. She's into TikTok now, and even that has slowed down for her. You know, she's um, you know, 12, almost 13. She'll be 13 this summer, and things just change. I don't know if she's going to want a video on her channel. I have an idea for her, but I'm going to talk to her about it before I mention it to you guys, and we'll we'll just see. I'm going to do whatever she feels like doing. I have my office already set up. Derek and I did that first thing. Derek wakes up at 5 a.m. He leaves the house, I think he said at 6.30 with Skylar to bring her to school. Drop-off is 7, between 7 and 7.30 a.m., what the hell? I could have not survived that as a child. I couldn't because I didn't sleep well even as a child. And he wakes up at 5 so he can start working because he is my son. And he likes to work while she gets up and takes her shower or whatever she has to do. And he makes breakfast, but he, he starts working right away. And, um, and now he's back. You know, it doesn't... It's like an hour round trip. That's why he needs to move again. He wants to be closer to her school. It's like an hour round trip to bring her to school. And then when he comes back, he starts working more. And today is Friday, and it's a half day for them. So he will be picking her up. I don't remember exactly when, but I will be going with him for that ride to go get her and see what her school looks like and all that. And then we are going to have her tonight and Saturday. The current temporary visitation thing is Derek has Skylar from 6 p.m. on Sundays to after school on Friday. And then Skylar's mother gets her after school on Friday until 6 p.m. on Sunday. So the weekends are hers, and she has the right to say, no, I want her this weekend, and we left it you know, just up in the air to see what she would say. But she did say to Skylar, would you like to be with Meme while she's there? And she said yes. So she said, how about I let you stay there Friday night and all Saturday, Saturday night. And I'm having a very hard time with this video. I am so tired. <laughs> I had gotten interrupted by the phone when you just saw me. And then I, um, 
finished recording that outro, but the footage was messed up, so I couldn't use it. I'm so frustrated. We ended up going to get Skylar. I was saying that we will have her tonight, which is Friday night, all day Saturday, and then um, she'll go to her mom's Sunday during the day, but then she'll be back for 6 p.m. And we went to pick her up. I explained that, but I can't use it. We went to pick her up, and then Skylar and I went grocery shopping, and I'm telling you, uh, it'll have to be a separate video, what I went through shopping, because I haven't been shopping like that for over a year. And I, uh, you know, I might have to force myself to get back out into public because I just really always want to stay home. And uh, it was a mental nightmare for me to be in a store with other people, lots of people. It has nothing to do with the virus. It's just that, that uh, stress, and especially a store that I don't know where things are. We're in a Kroger. I'm, you know, I'm not even familiar with Kroger's. I mean, I am. I used to live in Texas for a little while, but... It was just very hard for me, so I'm not going to get into details, but it was quite it was quite the event. And me driving, this isn't the neighborhood Derek lived in when I was here a year, a little over a year ago. He was still his other Memphis apartment, so it was a stressful day. So far, it's been a very stressful couple of days, and that's why I don't like to travel. I just don't. It's, uh, it's, there's nothing relaxing to me <laughs> about going somewhere that's not what I'm used to. But I do have an office set up. I will show that to you guys. I wanted to, but I'm not going to right now. My little office, my little safe place that I love so much. And Skylar was just very into, like, teenage girl type things. And it's just, uh, you know, it's just very different. And I, I know there's going to be stages. You know, in a couple more years, I'll come and visit, and she won't even want to be with me. She'll want to be with her friends. You know, it's, you know, it's just the way it goes. But I'm going to stay close to her and... You know, it'll all turn back around, I hope, and that we'll always be there for each other. All right, you guys, I'm going to hang up now before I screw up this footage, too. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know why I'm putting these on, but I am. Bye.